With Maxon's new license server, you can share licenses of Cinema 4D and other Maxon products throughout your local network. The license server runs as a service and is administered via a web browser. The clients don't need my Maxon accounts and they don't need to be online, but the license server does need to be online. The license server itself is currently available on Windows, Mac, and the CentOS Linux distribution. You'll find the license server downloads at the Cinema 4D downloads page. To get started, download the license server for your platform of choice and then install it. During the installation process, you'll choose a port to run the Maxon license server on. By default, this port is 5264. Once the installation completes, you'll have the opportunity to directly open the web browser to administer the license server. You can do this, or you can directly navigate your web browser to the server address colon 5264. The default login is admin admin. Within the web browser interface, you'll need to link the license server to a My Maxon account with floating license entitlements. You can do this in the Settings tab. Simply enter your Maxon account sign in and click Sign In. You'll see that the account is linked here. Note that you can link multiple My Maxon accounts in order to access and serve the licenses from all of those accounts. Next, you'll want to jump to the Manage Licenses tab, and here you'll see the licenses that are available for assignment to the license server. Note that in order to use the license server, you'll need to use licenses that are set up as floating entitlements. You'll see these in your my.maxon.net page with a license server indication next to the license type. So we'll go ahead and assign Cinema 4D to the license server. It asks how many licenses you want to assign. You can see here that we have five total licenses. Once you assign licenses to the license server, they're unavailable for use in other instances. However, it is important to note that unassigned floating licenses can be used with a typical user sign-on. We'll go ahead and assign all five licenses in this account to the license server. While we're here, we'll go ahead and assign the command line licenses as well. You can see that we have a total of 10 available. At the top of the screen, you can see a detailed list of the licenses that are currently assigned to this license server, which my Maxon account they are originating from, and how many licenses are assigned to the license server. You can also see when this license will expire, in other words, how quickly the license server needs to connect to the internet to renew the license. The valid until column shows you that these licenses are unlimited or perpetual. You can see in the versions column that these are R21 perpetual licenses. If this had been a subscription, you would see that the valid until would have an end date. That's all that's required for the basic setup of the license server. I'd also highly recommend that you set up at least one additional user account besides the administrative user. You can click create user on the users tab and type in a username. Next, you'll want to type in a name, email, and password. Now, it's important to realize that these accounts are not MyMaxon accounts, and they are not linked to the MyMaxon system. These are just internal accounts that can be used in order to manage your users and groups. Now, you can see that I have a user named C4D user. It's also a good idea to go into the admin account and change the password. Once you do so, you'll need to re-log in. Now within Cinema 4D, you can connect to the license server. So we'll go ahead and launch Cinema 4D. And here you'll want to ignore the Max on Account tab and switch to the license server tab. And you're going to want to enter the DNS or IP address for the Max on license server. Make sure the port is set correctly and then add the username and password. If everything's set up correctly and you have licenses added to your account, you should immediately see the license was consumed from the license server. And that's really all there is to it. When we return to the license server itself and go to the licenses tab, you'll see that one out of the five licenses is now in use and you can see which machine is using the license. To use the command line with the license server, simply add dash license 
IP or DNS name, and then the port, followed by all of the rest of your command line parameters. The command line will grab the license from the license server and render the frames. And again, within the license server dialog, you should see that the license is being consumed. And that's all you need to know to use the new Maxon license server with your Cinema 4D floating entitlements.